this is Nicole Austin with the Sean Petit creative team here for another Crash the Stash. I'm starting off in my art journal and I've already laid down a really light layer of paint, um, nothing special, just something to get rid of the white background. Now I'm adding some collage elements and everything will be listed in the description and also on the blog um, in case you want to know uh, what where all the collage pieces are from. So basically I'm just using some printed napkins that I found in the dollar section and also combining them with some collage elements such as the window, flowers, um, butterflies, and I'm using a glue stick because I like that it dries quickly. Uh, but if you're going to layer a lot of wet media on top, you might want to try Mod Podge because it also seals it in. But glue stick works for me. So here I'm just making sure everything is drying flat or laying flat. And uh, before I put the pieces down, I took a photo of it to remind myself of the placement. That comes in really handy so that you don't forget where everything goes and you don't have to take the time to remember where all the pieces are. You just look at the photograph. Uh, once you have everything down, um, I'm using some stencils and spray ink. And I'm just spraying a little bit of darker colors on top and also shielding the spray with the scrap paper so it doesn't get all over the place. Um, I'm removing the stencils now and then flipping them over so that I can kind of press them down into the page and that gives me another use out of the stencil. And just using an old book page to wipe up and dry up any of the spray ink and also pressing down the stencils so I kind of get a printed image and the paper will come in handy in another project when I use it as a collage paper. So I'm just removing the stencils now and wiping away with a baby wipe while it's still wet. In some areas you might want to wipe away. Uh, some of the paint will resist the spray, so that's kind of fun. So if you wipe it away, you'll get a nice little resist um, happening. Now I'm just using a Stabilo 3-in-1 woody pencil in black and just outlining that um, window in the background just to kind of make it stand out a little bit and so I don't forget where it is under all the layers. And then I'll also go in and outline the butterflies and the flowers and it's just real rough. It doesn't have to be precise. It's just to kind of give it more of a drawn-in look. It's a nice way to blend in your collage elements Just drawing around the flowers, tracing the insides, not being too detailed, but just trying to get some of the petals in there. It's okay if some of this gets covered up later, but it's just to give you an idea, give you a starting point. I'm just kind of being really loose with my lines and drawing in those petals, just having fun with it. Also adding some leaves and some stems. Sometimes you'll see me kind of draw in, you know, maybe extra flowers or extra leaves where there really aren't any, and that's fine. That's kind of just adds to the fun. And it also makes your art your own, so you're not just relying on the collage elements, you're also being inspired by them as well. I'm going in with the paint marker. You can also use acrylic paint and I'm just drawing in little flowers and coloring in some flower petals here and there, just brightening up the collage pieces a little bit. And later I'll go over sometimes with um, my finger too to kind of spread the paint around. I'm alternating between using paint pens and paint daubers and I like those because they're just really nice and bright. And they're easy and also imprecise, kind of gives it a little bit of a painterly look. And a little bit more of an impression, an impression, impressionistic look. And I'm also going around with the green paint pen and just adding leaves and adding a little bit more green just to balance it out. 
and then going in with the aqua paint pen and coloring over the butterflies or just highlighting any of the blue parts of the butterflies. And you can change the colors at any point, but I liked the blue contrast with the red and the pink, so I kept that. And now I'm using some yellow fluid acrylic and just finger painting the centers of the flowers just to kind of make the flowers pop out a little bit more. Also adding some little designs to the butterflies as well with the yellow. And then coming back with the Stabilo pencil and just scribbling in, drawing more flowers, and also adding some acrylic paint, painting those petals in. And now when you go over the Stabilo pencil with paint, it's gonna smear a little bit, but I kinda like that. It gives it a little bit of a watercolor sort of smudgy look. And don't be afraid to paint with your fingers. It's actually kind of fun and freeing, and it's a little imprecise, so it's just a nice way to free up a little bit than using brushes. Now I'm just covering up some of the blue. I kind of wanted that butterfly to stand out, so I put pink next to it. Then I'm also coming in with uh, the pink paint and just adding little blossoms with my uh, fingertip, just sort of adding little dots here and there just to vary the elements a little bit. And then going in with some of the Robin's Egg Blue paint and just adding little dots as well. Just trying to balance out the color at this point. Bringing back the paint daubers again. These are really nice for adding little dots of color. So it kind of looks like little spring blossoms. So it's nice to vary the really big blooms with really tiny dots, just to kind of give it um, more of a bouquet sort of look. And then sometimes your layers will dry and they won't dry as bright. So you might want to come back in and just add a little bit more with the dauber like I am here just to brighten up the reds a little bit more, make them a little bit more intense. And now I'm using the water brush to trace around the Stabilo pencil. It's water soluble, so when you use water, it's just going to give it sort of a watercolor look to the pencil lines. And that's a really nice way to blend everything in and kind of make it look like a watercolor painting and just soften the lines a little bit. Also, you can use this as a way to add shading And here I'm just darkening the lines around the windowsill so it kind of pops out a little bit more. Kind of got hidden underneath all those layers, but the black uh, Stabilo pencil is a great way to wake that up. And I'm just adding more scribbles and kind of outlining those leaves that I painted in, finger painted in earlier. And now just adding just a little bit more a little bit of orange because I kind of had some nice neon kind of coral on one side and I just wanted to bring it into the other side just a little bit and also wanted to cover up some of that purple it was getting a little bit too dark it wasn't reminding me of spring so I kind of covered up just a little bit of the purple now bringing in some of that aqua blue again at this point when you get closer to the end of your piece this is where you'll just add little bits of color little hints of color just to balance it all out now I'm adding some um, high flow acrylic and just tilting the page a little bit, letting the drips drip down, kind of reminded me of a little bit of rain, little raindrops. Just letting gravity do its work, bringing those drops down. You might want to help it out a little bit by spraying some water with a spray bottle in both directions. So let it drip down and then you would tilt the canvas or the page another way as well. And the last bit is just to add some crackle uh, paint or crackle paste um, to the windowsill to give it sort of a weathered wood look and I really like the way that turned out. And that's it for this edition of Crash, Crash the Stash. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to see what you're inspired to make. Thanks again.